Officials have reported that the number of fatalities in Hawaii's horrific wildfires has risen to 36, making it one of the deadliest catastrophes in the state's history. Maui firefighters are still desperately searching for survivors amid the burnt remnants of a town that was almost wiped off the map. The worst affected town, Lahaina, which officials described as being decimated, was where all of the fatalities occurred. Six individuals have perished, according to Maui Mayor Richard Bisson, and two 71 structures had been set ablaze earlier in the day. However, given the flame's already extensive damage, that figure may grow. While President Biden provided government aid and dispatched Black Hawks to help douse the persistent flames that are driven by powerful winds in Hawaii, authorities are battling to shelter the hundreds of islanders and tourists who have been forced to flee their homes. As firefighters made little progress in the battle, Democratic Senator for Hawaii Brian Schatz announced that Lahaina had been almost totally burned to the ground. The village, according to one local, looked like a war zone, and utter devastation, according to another. It is not an exaggeration to state that Lahaina has vanished off the face of the earth. Numerous vacationers from the well-known location are still stranded on the island and looking for temporary refuge after being told to leave. Dramatic images show the island paradise being destroyed by the fires, as desperate individuals have been seen throwing themselves into the water to escape the conflagration that has consumed the landscape. The state predicts that the blazing infernos will cause billions of dollars in structural damage, so officials are anxiously awaiting a presidential declaration of emergency, which they anticipate will be announced in the hours or days to come. LT Governor Sylvia Luke said at a news conference at 9 p.m on Thursday that she had flown over the 12,000-person town of Lahaina to view the devastation firsthand. It was just so devastating and shocking. The entire town was destroyed, she added. The entire town was devastated. A lifelong Maui resident who documented the destruction in Lahaina claimed he had to cut out portions of the footage because it was too gruesome to be released. Emerson Timmins told the local news source KHON2 News that he would presume it is much, much higher even if the official death toll was still six. He stated, there were cars abandoned on the road, I assume those people couldn't get out in time, while describing what he observed. The survivors and those who were fleeing their homes most likely made their way to the water. If a child could barely escape there with their family, then the elderly and the disabled are trapped. Those numbers are much higher, I said. The thought of all those people losing their loved ones and their houses is horrifying. Furious villagers dashed into the harbour's water to escape the flames as they closed in all the way up to the shoreline. Boats were used to save 12 persons from the seas. We still have dead bodies floating on the seawall, a resident informed reporters on Wednesday. Since last evening, they have been seated there. Since last night, we have been rescuing individuals in an effort to save their lives. By midnight on Wednesday, three of the largest flames still hadn't been brought under control, 
raising concerns that many people would awaken on Thursday to find their houses reduced to cinders. Gov. Josh Green of Hawaii issued a warning that there isn't adequate housing for long-term living to help the several hundred people who have lost everything in the wildfires. Approximately 2,000 visitors are now sheltering close to the airport on the island. More than 271 structures have already been damaged, according to flyovers over Lahaina conducted by the U.S. Civil Air Patrol and Maui Fire Department. However, with no end to the inferno in sight, this figure is anticipated to rise until Thursday. While the flames continue to burn down structures, West Maui as a whole continues to be without power and is also without landline or mobile service. Late on Wednesday, the Sheraton Maui Resort in Konopali organized a mass bus evacuation for guests, transporting them directly to the Kahui Airport, where passengers have been frantically trying to catch departing planes. According to a Thursday morning update from the state, shelters are still available at the Hannibal Tavares Community Center in Pukaloni, Maui High School in Kahului, and War Memorial Gymnasium in Wailuku. What we're trying to do right now is make sure that anyone who doesn't need to be on Maui for anything other than essential travel does not go to Maui, said Governor Green to CNN. I'm calling out to everyone in Hawaii right now. If you have an ADU on your property or a rental that is now vacant, we will be advocating a program to rehouse individuals as soon as possible. This, of course, makes the issue of homelessness and the terrible housing scarcity we currently have in our state worse. According to federal forces sent in to deal with the problem, the harbour has been significantly affected and there is extensive damage to the West Maui town. For helicopters have been sent to Lahaina to dump water on the flames, while two Chinooks, four Windward Aviation helicopters, and Black Hawks have been dropping water on all three fires. Late on Thursday night, three helicopters from the U.S. Coast Guard and U.S. Navy were performing search and rescue operations around the West Maui shoreline. The Maui Memorial Medical Center reported treating seven people for fire-related injuries, two of whom are in serious condition. Some people are receiving burn and smoke inhalation treatment. Seven more patients have been sent to Oahu for specialized care. Wade Ebersol, the hospital's chief operating officer, stated, our carers sincerely care about the health and well-being of our community and are striving to ensure that all of our patients' needs are being fulfilled. During this trying time, our hearts and support are with our community and first responders, the statement reads. Before and after the flames broke out, satellite photographs revealed the destruction to the environment and infrastructure. While Lahaina is frequently visited by visitors because of its beautiful resorts and whites and beaches, for locals it is a town with a long history and plenty of historical attractions. The iconic banyan tree in Lahaina, which has stood outside the town's courthouse for 150 years, may have perished in the fire, according to locals. The magnificent tree, which is said to be the oldest living banyan on Maui, has significant significance for Hawaiians. One individual on social media said, only time will tell if it survives the injuries sustained in the fires, 
but it feels like a small beacon of hope in this disaster. According to the video, the iconic tree is visible among the scorched destruction but is still standing tall. One individual who posted the video online stated, Only time will tell if it survives the injuries sustained in the fires, but it feels like a small beacon of hope in this disaster. According to CNN, images showed that the Lahaina Heritage Museum's roof had fallen due to extensive burning. The doctor who rescued Maui from a smallpox outbreak in the 19th century resided at the Baldwin Home Museum, which has apparently been demolished. A social and spiritual gathering place for Hawaii's Chinese immigrant population, the Wahing Temple Museum, was also destroyed in the outrage. Joe Biden requested federal assistance to get in Hawaii on Wednesday evening on Wednesday in the afternoon. Response and rescue operations are being supported by the Coast Guard, Navy Third Fleet, and U.S. Marines. I'm sad to inform you that just before coming on here, it was verified we've had six deaths, said Mayor Richard Bisson Jr still engaged in search and rescue operations. We've had a lot of homes, companies, and buildings burn down, some of them completely. Three fires that have started and are still burning here on our island have caused 13 evacuations from various towns and neighborhoods, 16 road closures, and the opening of five shelters. 11,209 Hawaiians are still without power, and the flames are still burning. The state's head of business, economic development, and tourism, James Kunoni Tokioka, declared, Local people have lost everything. It's devastating since they lost their home and their animals. There will be further devastation, the National Weather Service has warned. Initiating a red flag warning, it stated on Wednesday afternoon. Critical fire weather conditions will exist through the afternoon hours due to the combination of very dry fuels, strong and gusty easterly winds, and low humidity. In a statement, U.S. President Joe Biden said, Jill and I send our heartfelt condolences to the families of those who lost loved ones in the Maui wildfires. We also pray for those whose homes, businesses, and communities have been completely destroyed. We are appreciative of the courageous first responders and firemen who continue to go into danger and put themselves in Hom's path in order to save lives. I have directed all federal assets on the islands that are available to assist with response. On the island of Maui, the Hawaiian National Guard has dispatched Chinook helicopters to assist with search and rescue efforts and fire control. The U.S. response and rescue operations are being supported by the Coast Guard and Navy Third Fleets. Black Hawk helicopters from the U.S. Marines are being used to put out fires on the Big Island. The Department of Interior and the United States Department of Agriculture stand ready to support post-fire recovery efforts, said the Department of Transportation, which is coordinating with commercial planes to remove visitors from Maui. I urge all residents to continue to heed evacuation orders, pay attention to first responders and officials' instructions, and remain vigilant. Lahaina is a historic town where Victoria Wayne Bowley was born and reared. 
The native Hawaiian awoke this morning to panicked calls from friends and family members who said their homes had burned down or were in danger due to the horrific flames that have ravaged Maui. Everyone is sleep-deprived and unsure about the whereabouts of their loved ones. This kind of disaster is unfathomable to me. The calamity is the most damaging in Maui's history, according to Wayne Bowley, who spoke to Daily Mail. Com. The entire island of Lahaina is a total wasteland. While the Coast Guard hurried to save them, some individuals had no choice but to leap into the water. It resembles Hiroshima. According to Wayne Bowley, who spent 25 years living in Lahaina before relocating to New Jersey but now frequently travels to Maui for work, people were literally driving to dinner last night like everything was safe and in just a short period of time within 24 hours this happened. With over 70 employees, Wayne Bowley and her family own and operate Maui Apparel Company, a well-known apparel business on the island. As of this afternoon, the flames made it risky or impossible to use cell phones. The company, which now has 14 outlets, was started in 1982 by her father, Edward Wayne, three of which are now under danger. We are still unable to contact our personnel. In the vicinity of Lahaina, nobody can be reached, according to Wayne Bowley. I've been corresponding via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and email. I'm 99% certain that Today's fire destroyed our original store on Front Street in Lahaina. It was founded by my parents in 1982, the year I was born. It used to be known as Lobster and Roses before being renamed the Maui Clothing Company. Our other two businesses, Maui Waterwear and Cruise Maui Boutique, are situated in a different Konopoli commercial district called Whalers Village, which is also under danger. The two places are the most well-liked tourist shopping areas in Lahaina. This level of destruction is just tragic. Family members and friends of ours formerly opened businesses like restaurants and shops, only to see them fail years later. There have been several historical sites that have burnt down. We don't know all the details, but these are places that people have visited for the past 50 years but are no longer there, someone said. I'm depressed. It's disastrous. It's painful and tragic. On the island, it feels like everyone is your family and everyone gets along with everyone. Dear. George Martin, a well-known dermatologist in Lahaina and a long-time friend, narrowly avoided the devastating fire that threatened his property with 100 animals about a quarter mile away. Dia Martin, a personal friend of ours, has close to 100 animals, including horses, poultry, and ponies. The last to be evacuated, he was lucky to get assistance from residents of other areas of the island. People here are just like that. Everyone is pitching in and writing notes online inviting others to come to their animals and use their land. My brother reports there are dead on the ground in Lahaina, a saddened resident wrote in an Instagram picture. The magnitude of the destruction in Lahaina, where thousands of people fled in the middle of the night to avoid being stranded, can be seen in a devastating aerial video. 
Among others who entered the sea in boats was Claire Kent, who claimed to have lost everything. I have left Lahaina and am safe in Waihu with a few buddies. My town, my job, and my house are all gone. Everything was lost. This is the most terrifying thing I have ever encountered. Absolutely horrified. As the apocalyptic fires continue to burn, more burnt sufferers were today airlifted from Maui to Honolulu for medical attention. Strong gusts from Hurricane Dara stoked the fires, forcing evacuations and resulting in power disruptions in a number of villages. On Maui, the flames are at their worst. One has demolished the town of Lahaina, while the other is destroying portions of northern Walia, where resort hotels like the Four Seasons and Hilton dot the coastline. Apart from some air quality issues, a Four Seasons Walia employee informed Daily Mail com that the resort has not been impacted. The first season of The White Lotus was filmed at the $990 per night hotel. We're going to try our best to move over this, but it's going to be difficult, said a Lahaina resident whose house was destroyed by fire but who stayed in the community to help. Years will be needed to rectify it. Even worse than this is not all of it. The indirect impact of Hurricane Dara moving close to our island is this unparalleled calamity. LT. Governor Sylvie Luke remarked Wednesday morning, It is truly devastating and my heart goes out to the residents of Maui and all those impacted. Oprah recently bought hundreds of acres of land, and there is now one fire burning nearby in Kula, central Maui. This is totally unheard of. It's terrible to have an emergency at night. Mahina Martin, a spokeswoman for Maui County, said in the wee hours of Wednesday that it is all hands on deck at the moment. We are already in contact with other hospital systems about sharing the burden. The fact is, Maui Hospital cannot provide extensive burn treatment, so we need to fly people out of Maui to receive burn support. She said to CNN on Wednesday, We're dealing with major transportation issues in addition to dealing with the disaster. 9-11 is down. There is no cell service. There is no phone service. That has contributed to the issue. Residents on the west side, or Lahaina side, have been unable to contact Maui County. We want to send people into places where satellite phone coverage is available. We may have only communicated with one hotel since its managers used satellite phones at that one establishment. You can only connect in that manner. It prevents effective communication. We are quite concerned about how it is preventing residents from being evacuated, she added. Residents were urged to leave their houses yesterday by fire authorities before it was too late. The fire could be more than a mile away from your home, but it could arrive there in a matter of minutes. According to Maui County Fire Assistant Chief Jeff Gesia, burning airborne debris has the ability to start flames far from the main body of fire. On Maui, firefighters were putting out many fires that were centred in two places. The well-known tourist resort of West Maui and an inland, mountainous location. 
The sky appears to be bruised in video taken from a boat in Maui's Lahaina Murring Field as massive smoke plumes emerge from the fires.